This is the Popular Apocrypha Podcast, Episode 13, The True Love from the Twelve Days of Christmas, for December 18th, 2017. Acid. Acid. Yep. 
Why not? Acid. I'll just be like, that makes like sense. Like the drug acid? No. Like, <laughs> the Joker's like face was melted yes. in acid sort of thing. Oh, uh, so he was rubbing all over the Joker. <laughs> I mean... What if there was a what if there was like a DC line? No, you're alone? supposed to be thinking. Okay, <laughs> called the Lazarus Pit. Ooh. Okay, that's pretty brilliant. That is pretty brilliant. For like a deodorant. Yeah. yeah, but I feel like that wouldn't brings you back to life. Oh, that's Lazarus Pit brings 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 your underarms back to life. Yeah. Got a response, Logan. Uh, it's not got a response. It's yeah. like a complicated no, game. You have to think about it. Yeah. Like I don't really remember. Okay. Uh, oh, I didn't. I, we didn't guess for you. Or yeah, that's what I'm saying. Got response oh. for me. Oh, I see. Okay, I thought you meant I was supposed to think of. I thought something. we were all gonna go. Around. Okay, so it was what a guitar, underwear from your ex, mm. and aloe socks. Yeah. I'm gonna go with the guitar. I am going to go with the aloe socks. I think that was a planted guess. thing. Mm. Logan is right. <sighs> yeah. And that do those exist? Guess. Do those exist? Yeah, they do. Okay. Yeah. Do you want them? Yeah. You Are you searching? <laughs> 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 okay. Like, do you, do you, do you, do you Are you ready? One? If not, I can go. If you I, can I have two ready. Okay. I can, I can, uh, I need to think of another one. Um, I, I got something. I got, I'm not going to go into the stories of how I got either. I got a foosball table. Mm-hmm. I got dollar store chopsticks, dollar store Star Wars chopsticks, and I got what was my last one? I just had it. What was it? Dang it! What was it? Uh, skeptical. <laughs> <laughs> Press X to doubt. No. <laughs> oh, a curtain rod. That's right. I'd say the char- Star Wars chopsticks. That is also my guess. I do not think that those were a gift. So I actually got those uh, uh, from my ex. Oh! Uh, wait, was she your ex at the time? No. Oh. Okay. I'm sensing a pattern. <laughs> <laughs> Which one was the fake one? The, the curtain rod. Oh, the one you had to... Man, you threw us off. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> so these are all gifts, except for one, because one's not true. Well, yeah. From my uncle. I got an RC Scooby Doo car. Okay. It was not the. It was not the Mystery Machine. It was. It was just like a, a like it looked more like a Batmobile, but Scooby Doo was in it. It was weird. Return that thing. Shut up. It's <laughs> not a Mystery Machine. Or the it's Mystery Machine a tank. Got, it's not a tank. I got a. I think it was about two years later. I got a Snoopy watch. It was my first watch I ever got. And the, then I got a bass guitar because I wanted to learn to play an instrument. Slash, my parents wanted me to learn to play an instrument. So mm, I think it's the RC car. I think it's a guitar. Logan is correct. Uh, yeah, I did get. I, at one point, I did get a bass guitar, but it was not for Christmas and it was not for Michael. Uh, see, I thought you were throwing us off completely because you got a saxophone. I that came first. Saxophone okay. came first. I I, I I was not not half bad. I was about half bad actually. <laughs> <laughs> but. That means you're half good. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, I was half okay. <laughs> um, so, uh, with the Christmas gift theme already presented, um, today our episode is going to be on the true love from the 12 Days of Christmas song. On the first day of Christmas. Yeah, I'll be right. In case you're... <laughs> Is it royalty-free? I'm looking that up now. Yeah, go on, go go on, go on, um, so, in case you're not familiar with that, it's, you know, the first day you got a partridge in a pear tree, second two turtle doves, third day three French hens, four, four calling birds, five golden rings, six geese of length, seven swans swimming, eight maids of milking, nine ladies dancing, ten lords of leaping, eleven pipers piping, and twelve drummers drumming. Some people like to mix those around, especially from like 9 to 12. Yes. But that is the official order. Correct. And we wanted to tackle the lover because for one, (laughs) we want to tackle some lovers. For two, that's kind of a weird set of gifts to get. And I think I'll I'll give a little bit of the backstory of the uh, 12 Days of Christmas and then we'll go into maybe tackling this character in our new canon. So, um, the 12 Days of Christmas actually refer to a period of time between Christmas and January 6th. So, in most Western cultures and Western churches, actually currently, like, our Christmas season ends on the 25th. We're done. We're moving into New Year's. But in most Western churches, December 25th actually started the days of celebration, leading up to January 6th, which was the Epiphany Day. And many churches kind of argue what Epiphany Day was. Some say it was the day of Christ's first, like, 
baptism. Some people say it was the day of when the Magi came. Regardless, January 6th was considered Epiphany Day, and those were the 12 days of Christmas. It is public domain, by the way. It is? Mm -hmm. Good. (laughs) So we are good. So we're still (laughs) Recently, the song's been searched through for codes and other things, like with the Da Vinci Code, maybe it has some secret message. Illuminati and, confirmed. Really, though. And in the 90s, actually, a myth surfaced that the song was used by Catholics uh, during the Reformation era to keep their beliefs in code while being persecuted. Hmm. But uh, with... Oh, and each day of the song represented a different truth, like uh, the porch in a pear tree was, you know, Jesus in the tomb, or the, two, the day two was about the... New Testament and Old Testament. Four um, calling birds was the four gospels. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Uh, but actually, there's really no proof to back up this claim. And also, it's worth mentioning, one of the sources cited in an article by Huffington Post was given by William Studwell, who was considered the, quote, Dean of Christmas Carol Scholarship. So uh, in case you're wondering... What school is that? I was going to say, like, in case you're wondering what you might want to be when you grow up, <laughs> <laughs> you could be the Dean of Christmas Carol Scholarship. Unfortunately, he passed away in August 2011, but that means that the position is open, so... Is it actually open? I don't know. I didn't dive very deep into that one. <laughs> <laughs> we um, do our research, obviously. But he says, uh, obviously before he passed away, that the song had a secular source to it. Another source named uh, Lay Grant, or Lay... Yeah. Lay Grant. Uh, she wrote and illustrated uh, the 12 Days of Christmas book, and she said that the gifts were actually part of medieval feasts held on the 12 days. So the birds were used like as offerings or as the food, and then the dancers, pipers, drummers were all part of the celebration of the feast during the 12 Days of Christmas. But the earliest documented printed version of the song was in a children's book. Uh, <laughs> the children's book was published in 1780, titled Mirth Without Mischief. Seems like there's a lot of mischief in that song. I was going to say, yeah. But, you know, uh, whatever. And the song probably served as a call and response game during like the holiday season. So one person would say the first day, an audience would have to repeat it back right. and constantly go until someone messed up the verse. And then they okay. lost. Yeah. College icebreaker games. Yes. <laughs> but in 1700s. Yeah. I'm Logan, and I'm bringing cheese on the picnic. He's Logan, and he's bringing cheese on the picnic. I'm when Tyler, and I hate myself. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, and with that. And I'm um, <laughs> Also, <laughs> it's, uh, it is worth noting that the song lyrics have actually been more Englishized, have been changed over the years. So, for example, the five golden rings actually never referred to rings. They were supposed to refer to collared birds, so quail. Um, also, the four calling birds actually were four collie birds, and that's a type of bird. So, actually, days one through seven all deal with birds. So many birds. Right. But in our modern uh, joke vernacular... Find it. <laughs> <laughs> but for our modern vernacular, we say calling birds and golden rings, which leads us to a group that actually co- totals up the total price for all the gifts year by uh-huh. year. Um, and in 2017, due to inflation, the total price for all 12 days of gifts would be $34,558.65. God, I remember that 65 cents. I wouldn't consider that too bad, considering, like, five of them are, like, services performed. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, so like wonder what, do you know what the most expensive item is? Is it the rings? Uh, I well, believe it is the rings. I can actually look it up right here. It's called the... Uh, the PNC Christmas Price Index, and they said the cost of this year's Christmas Price Index rose ever so slightly by uh, 0.6%, driven by the cost increases for the pear tree, <laughs> the increased demand for golden rings, and wage increases for the Lord's a leaping. Just the Lord's a leaping. Mm-hmm. Sucks for the rest of them. <laughs> <laughs> no one else really cares about their profession. Oh. Awkward. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, so with that... Now that we have the background of the 12 Days of Christmas, we can more properly, I feel, tackle the person giving these gifts. Was there anything in your research about that person? Uh, there was very little. Usually it was, like, I believe the My True Love Gave to Me, originally with the mythos kind of reference God. Uh, hmm. That's right. You know, like God is the true love that gives me Jesus in the New and Old Testament and all this stuff. Gotcha. Um, but really... With 
it being a call and response game. It's just it's a way it's just to introduce how to talk about the gift giving time of the twelve days of Christmas. Because I'm just thinking, if if my wife got me these things, I would not be very happy. No, maybe a partridge. I never owned a bird. I'm allergic to birds. Oh, <laughs> really? I did not know. So that. if I flipped you off, would you die? Oh my god. <laughs> Too late. Too <laughs> already tried. You it. should already know. <laughs> um, but no, like, like first of all, I'm an introvert. Like, that's a lot of people randomly showing up, performing things and services for me. That's just really creepy to me. So you're not a fan of like a barbershop car- quartet showing up and like serenading? I would oh, that'd be that. awesome. I would hate that. You were part of a barbershop quartet. You were no. part of a acapella group. Yeah, but we didn't really like do that we didn't go and sing for any like one particular person except when we did Christmas caroling but caroling and going and like singing particularly for one person only that one person that's been different yeah but what is the difference between that and maids and milking ladies dancing lords of leaping pipers piping and drums drumming doing that for one person the lover loves it, does, it doesn't matter it's all creepy <laughs> it's all creepy so did you hear the theory that uh, in the French version of this that instead of eight maids and milking I'm waiting for you to swallow that drink <laughs> that instead of eight maids and milking it's eight <laughs> full breasted women <laughs> and really changed it in translation why oh. first of all change it from eight full-breasted women to eight maids and milking. Cringe. <laughs> yeah. So I stick with milk. Yep. Yeah. Mm. I didn't know that. I. Well, that's... I that's one theory. Oh, it's a theory. Yeah. Okay. I don't think it was confirmed. I just read it in a book about the the song. That is still a little weird. If my true love was supposed to be God, imagine how different these lists would be for d- the different religions of the world. Because I mean. Some of these gifts are not particularly appropriate for certain religious beliefs, so... I don't think these are all appropriate for any. (laughs) (laughs) If they're taken literally. Big-breasted women? Full-breasted women. Full-breasted women. Okay. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) No, like, uh, that, I mean, that's a good example that I'm, for, like, most religions, I would think, probably aren't super happy about that being, you know, a song about their God giving them. I mean, maybe. I don't know. But, I mean, some of the others I wouldn't think would be particularly culturally appropriate. So should we move to change the gifts given, or should we move to change the lover? Because they're kind of intertwined. They are. See, I, I kind of want to, if we take this literally, what kind of person is the true love Yeah. to give these kinds of gifts? Yeah. I mean, obviously they can afford $34,000. That's true. Is it like Leonardo DiCaprio for you, Riley? Is that who's giving you these It's got to be like some eccentric celebrity. Yeah. Maybe. Who like wants to give... John Boyega. Wants to give their love... <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. There it is. There it is. <laughs> Ding. Okay, so now John Boyega mentioned. <laughs> Zero. Who like wants to give their lover something that they already have everything. Yeah, I know. That makes sense. I mean, that was one of my questions is literally who would this be? Like if we had to have a representation of this person. Who's the weirdest? Elton thing? John. Tommy Wiseau. Oh. Uh, uh, I don't know. I, has I he made like, him enough money to do that? Uh, I'm sure he has oh, by now. Wow. <laughs> shade. Throw that shade. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know how much. I want to make a real Hollywood movie. <laughs> I want to see the disaster artist. We love you to know. That looks so good. <laughs> that looks so good. Um, <laughs> hashtag not spawn. We have uh, an alleyway right here. <laughs> but I want to make a real Hollywood movie. <laughs> Um, but no, I, I I would think that they would be... It's your true love, though. Like, it can't just be a celebrity is... Unless that celebrity is loved by everyone. So is there a, a eccentric celebrity Betty with White. money that is loved by everyone? Betty White. Not everybody loves Betty White. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I, do you disagree with that? I do. You ever seen Golden Girls? I Watch one episode and I, tell me if you hate Betty White or not. I don't hate her. No, I'm not saying I, I don't like oh, her. Oh, but just I'm not other love people. her? I'm saying other people. God, she's so aggressive. <laughs> um, Who's like the know. poster child of celebrities right now? Oh, Taylor Swift? No, people actually hate Poster her. child people, people of hate celebrities? Well, yeah. well, yeah, but I like, mean, people hate everybody but me. Yeah. And that's kind of my point. Like, Lin- it Lin- can't Lin- be one particular person. People do like Lin Moe. But a lot of people hate oh, him, too. Yeah, that's also fair. Jimmy Fallon? Uh, He's got the money, probably, I assume. Oh, yeah. Maybe, sure. like, to give him $34,000. Once, once or yeah. twice. Not to everyone in the world. Yeah. But. Dude, all the people on there would be happy to go on a show to... <laughs> 
wouldn't even have to pay for them. Yeah, fair. Yeah. That actually Exposure. is a great idea. What? Make the true love a game show where you win the 12 Ooh. Days of Christmas. Ooh. I like would want to win those though. If we change them, the full breasted yeah. women. Oh, okay. <laughs> can you say that a bit louder? What? So who wouldn't want to win that? <laughs> no, but if we change them, I like that idea. But then, like the game show be Twelve Days of Christmas, hosted by your true love, Steve Harvey. See? <laughs> <laughs> And then he gave the Steve Harvey face whenever he said, like, <laughs> a dumb answer. Thank you, Grandma. <laughs> Thank you, Grandma. <laughs> I kind of want this. Can you imagine nah, Steve nah. Harvey in a... Nah, no. <laughs> nah, me. My love. No, she did. So, question, Steve though. I feel like that. if there's supposed oh, to be your that. true love, like, doesn't that cheapen it? Or is that the point? Wait, what? Like, a game show, doesn't that cheapen? Oh. If they're supposed to be your true love, does that not, like, cheapen your relationship with them? Or, like, that what that means? Or no? No, the game show is hosted by... Everyone's You true. are... You is his first name. R is his second. Oh is his middle name. And his last name is oh, True Love. Oh, my gosh. No. <laughs> no. No. Or his first name is Your. No. No. Why you are. Stop. And then last name is True Love. <laughs> oh, it's Russian. <laughs> okay. Hello. Welcome to 12 Day Christmas. Hosted by Your True Love. Oh, we just about. I would actually really like that. <laughs> Hello. 12 Day Christmas. And you get partridge. And you get partridge. Where are they pear tree? I don't know. <laughs> Behind door one? Door <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I don't want it actually. <laughs> really bad. Dude, a Russian okay. game show host? Yes. That'd be amazing. Yes. Okay. Russian game show host. You're your true love. Tyler for like two minutes went, no, no, no. Like, and then Logan okay. was like, Russian game show host? Okay. <laughs> no, I'm giving in. That's what's happening. <laughs> Vladimir Putin. Vladimir Putin host. <laughs> but, but it's obviously, it's like, it's obviously Vladimir Putin hosting, mm -hmm. but like the show is built to like, no, this is your true love. Like yeah. that's your true love. <laughs> this not Vladimir Putin. He has like a fake mustache. <laughs> yeah. That's all. That's his whole discussion. But he, 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 he forgot that he had to put it under his nose and he put it on the top of his head. <laughs> what? What? Or like it's like a big what? Like it's a it's a really big like eighties stash. Yeah, like half of it is hanging off. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm more down with this if if, if it's actually. And then can you wear a Christmas hat too, like a Santa hat? No, like one of those elf hats with like the the jingle bells on the hands. <laughs> Vladimir Putin and like an, an elf Putin? hat. Putin. Like, Putin. are there like what other famous Russians are there that are still alive? I don't really answer that because I don't really want to show myself as the uncultured yokel that I am. So, I mean, I, like, what are like? What about the guy that goes like? What? The guy like the video on YouTube is really famous, or the dude's like in that space suit and he like does it like that thing with his tongue. I have no idea. We don't know it. It's fine. Okay. Some, someone out there, some audience member will know it. Sure. Yeah, they will. <laughs> so if it's a game show, yeah. yeah, then should the gifts be different? Should they be? Should they? Should they still scale? Like I think, one, two, three, four. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Oh, okay. Yeah. I think they should still, like in total, be worth about thirty-four thousand dollars. Except, would that know. be worth it on a game show though? Thirty-four thousand. Yeah, I don't know. because I feel like game shows have been scaled up a lot. Not necessarily, actually. Wheel of Fortune. Well, that's true. Like that's about thousand is a good amount on Wheel of Fortune. No, yeah. Jeopardy too, actually. Yeah. I mean, most game shows have a prospect of lots of money, but right. in reality, yeah. what do you really go home with? Yeah. You know. After taxes. Ooh yeah. Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey. If uh, your true love. Just gives you like physical gifts, and you do still have to pay taxes on those. No, you don't. <laughs> Not in this scenario. <laughs> there was actually a movie in like the fifties, I believe, where one guy wins uh, like some sort of game show where he wins a lot of physical presents, but he has to sell off like two thirds of them just to pay the taxes on yep. them. Oh my god! And that was back in like the fifties. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. When, so I guess the polish should have worn off even then on like game shows. Right. You know. So anyway. I think it should still scale, 1 through 12. Mm -hmm. 
don't know if it has to be worth the same amount of money, but I think we should keep like that'd be complicated. To something out. from each one. Something from each one. Yeah. So Golden maybe keep rings. the partridge, but not the pear tree, and replace it. Or maybe keep the pear tree. What, or maybe give them a pair of trees. Or what if it's like a Are pear, like pear like wine or something, like a bottle of something that's like pear flavored. Ooh, like a pear cider. Yeah, like something that's you know fairly expensive, but like not like okay. super. It's like you know a hundred dollar bottle. So is this TV show hosted by Vladimir Putin posing no. as? Your true, true love. love. Yeah, well, I'm just imagining. Is this like, produced in Russia or is this actually in the United States? And this is how Vladimir Putin is making it into the U.S. What if it's Steve Harvey <laughs> pretending to be Vladimir Putin? Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> or vice versa. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> but Vladimir Putin pretending to be Steve Harvey. Yeah, I know where we're all going. <laughs> Hopefully without blackface. Yeah, oh yeah let's not. <laughs> no. <laughs> what if if you ever use the phrase, hopefully without blackface, you probably are on the wrong path. <laughs> <laughs> Your compass is pointing in the wrong direction. <laughs> but still with like the mustache that's like half hanging off. Or just a mask. A Steve Harvey a, mask, a, 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 like a picture, just a, just a picture on a <laughs> piece of printer paper that he just holds in front of his face. Oh, like a popsicle stick. Let's make it not. We could do not Vladimir Putin and just have like a Russian dude. Yeah, some Russian dude that we that we can paint a picture of. Yeah, yeah. yeah that way we can create your true love, Yuri true love, your, and uh, was it, true wasn't love. Santa Claus in uh, uh, the Guardians movie? Wasn't he Russian? Yep. Yeah, that's right. So. I kind of want Yuri True Love. Oh, Yuri True Love. Yeah. I like it. Yuri True Love. I like it. I want him. He could be Japanese, too, with that name. No. Well. He could be half and half. He could be, like, a Russian member of the Yakuza. Whoa. Whoa. (laughs) (laughs) There's a backstory there. (laughs) How do you get to the the game show? How do you get to the game show? Is he a sleeper cell? Uh, (laughs) Just someone says some word, and he's like, and... (laughs) <laughs> he just starts throwing the presents at people Turns robotically to the camera Just pulls a gun out of his like back pocket or something <laughs> A little tiny gun I kind of want him uh, to have the Steve Harvey mustache still For sure Yeah Handlebar mustache Yes, handlebar mustache Obviously But completely bald Oh yeah, of course Well, okay. isn't Steve Harvey also completely bald? Mm-hmm Okay, yeah, cool. but what I like the so difference Harvey. being Steve Harvey's kind of like this big stocky dude. Yeah, but he doesn't really have like. No offense, Steve. He's not the fittest dude. I think he's, 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 he's a he would big probably dude. Admit that. Yeah, he's a, he's, a, he's average build, but he's a big dude. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean. Mm-hmm. But Yuri is like clearly like muscles rippling underneath okay. the suit, okay. right? Okay. Where like wears too small of clothing. Yes, like to the point where. It's like he moves to hold his mic up to someone and he can't like reach over across his chest. Like okay. otherwise the suit would rip. But it's okay. a, it's a running gag in the show that what that his suit does rip. Yeah. At the end of every episode. <laughs> yeah. 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 Like accidentally in air yeah. quotes. Like it's written in the script. Accidentally rip suit. Yeah. That, that would get expensive. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and then I think the other Then you thing win is, a suit at the end. Yeah. Twelve suits. I'd want him to kind of have I want him to wear a zoot suit. Okay. Okay, yeah. But really small. Yeah. Uh-huh. You're a okay. true love. Does he wear like a hat or anything or just bald? For the no. Christmas episode he wears a hat. Just like, like I say, like one of those jingle bell hats. Well yeah. it's Christmas themed game show, so why not just all the time? Oh. That's yeah. a good point. Just yeah. just a question. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Cool. That's just like his signature get up. Yeah. And then his like suit that kinda rips sometimes. All the time. All the time. <laughs> <laughs> and then what is the game show called like 12 days of prizes or 12 gifts of Christmas 12 prizes of Christmas 12 Christmases of presents <laughs> 12 Christmases of days <laughs> we keep it it's, it's poorly translated from Russian <laughs> Christmas is days of 12 <laughs> oh my god 12 Christmas gifts days of hello and Merry welcome to Christmas, Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> to 12 13 Christmas days <laughs> Merry joy, happy days. Merry holidays. <laughs> days holy, happy. Oh my God. Happy Jesus birthday. <laughs> <laughs> happy 
happy, happy Jesus birthday gifts. There we go. <laughs> Jesus birthday gift time. Yep. Birthday Perfect. gift time. Birthday happy, gift. Happy, happy, happy gift time. Happy, happy Jesus birthday uh, gift time. <laughs> happy, happy <laughs> gift time. <laughs> Deciding like into, like these are going to be the other eleven gifts. We could just choose the themes categories for the eleven other other categories within the game show. Uh, okay. So like category twelve is always birds. Category eleven is always. I mean the whatever. two the two themes in the original twelve days of Christmas were birds and like performance services, including the not that kind of women. service. <laughs> the full breasted women. Yeah, that's a service. Because like what's, I mean like <laughs> I mean like eight maids of milking like. Cool, cool show. I mean, happy, <laughs> happy breast time from all of us. Oh my God. I mean, you happy, know, happy. my servants do that every day. I don't watch that every day. Totally. I give my breast to you. <laughs> That's what a servant So pretty much just whenever he wants to, Yuri True Love starts singing that song with whatever category it is, and then it has to go to an ad break so he can get a new shirt on. But it's what not if- like a scheduled ad break, it's a commercial interruption. Yeah. What if, to reveal the next gift, he has to, like, rip part of his suit, and then, like, oh, like that's a, good. a picture of, of the next gift is under the suit. It's tattooed on it. Oh. And it's like a little, uh, like a little pit boy from Fallout looking thing that's like pointing to the picture. <laughs> but it's just a major version of Yuri <laughs> pointing to the picture. And then, and then they have like celebrities on to come up and like rip part of his suit. <laughs> or like people that. in the audience. Yeah. Yeah. It's just Steve Harvey comes and rips off part of his suit every time. <laughs> <laughs> Steve Harvey is the, the showgirl. Yep. I really wish I could do a Steve Harvey impression right now. I need to work on that. Just start announcing something wrong. Just kidding. <gasps> <gasps> I think you recover no. very well. Oh, that wasn't done oh, yeah. at all. I don't know why no. people got get, well, like gave him the, so much whack. What was it? The T-Mobile commercial that he was on? Yeah, he that just was made awesome. fun of it. Yeah. Yeah. No, so it wasn't have to even apologize his fault. again. <laughs> <laughs> his facial expressions are amazing. So good. Um, we love you, Steve. <laughs> yeah. Real talk. I. I mean, the new version though of the Twelve Days of Christmas, the more English English version, has birds, jewelry, and like a, like. Performances or whatever. Okay. Are we still considering the rings to be like actual rings? I don't know. What do you want to do? Don't they still refer to the ring around the neck? I mean, the birds. They they did, but like in modern vernacular. Like for example, yes. when the when the NPC I think uh, calculated the pricing, they did it for rings. They didn't do it for birds. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? So and that's usually the most expensive thing. Yeah. Probably. Okay. So if we wanted to stick with that theme. I mean, the ending thing, like we said, would be a bird. Obviously. But then there'd be jewelry and services. Kind of or, like, we could even expand jewelry and be, like, luxuries. Right. Or, Other luxury things. You know what I mean? And, so, that, and, and then that could include things. You could stretch that to include, like, a cruise. A or, trip to Malibu. Or a spot. <laughs> a trip to Czechoslovakia. <laughs> a trip to Chile, Siberia. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's where you're from. <laughs> it's good. It's very good this time of year. <laughs> very good for cold. tourism. We give you ice baths. <laughs> Builds we character. Tour through snow. I really hope you we... get to feed the reindeer. I really hope if anyone from Russia is listening, they keep listening. <laughs> I'm doing like my Boris Badenov yeah. impression. <laughs> so Who's okay, so let's. Uh, how about we move backwards mm-hmm. okay. and work our way up to category one? So we've got birds as category 12. Category 11, do we want it to be a luxury or a service? Just choose. Somebody choose. It has to be, because are we are we saying like one has to be the best one or like a 12 has to be the best 12 one? 12 is always the last one. Yeah. Who knows what the best one is, right? So if if 11 is second to last, I'd say that one should be. So like 11 should be best? The best so then probably last. And then the 12 one is kind of like kind of the joke answer. Yeah. But like. It's the gag. Yeah. It's yeah. the bird thing. It's like you've won. This is for shits and giggles. For, yeah. You've won a marshmallow peep. <laughs> <laughs> Just one. No, I have one that you're yeah. into. <laughs> it is blessed with my saliva. <laughs> Okay, so it'd be more of a luxury item than probably. Yeah, so it'd be like a cruise or a big trip to sunny Siberia. I mean, since you're saying they change every week, let's plan the premiere episode. What are the 12 gifts functioning off of luxury, like, service, and then bird? On the pilot, what's the bird thing? Yeah, the pilot episode. Kind of fundamental question, though. What is the challenge on the game show? I like, what are they trying to do? Yeah, okay. to get to that. That's, that that can play into the theme, the, like the categories. Yeah, guess. like how do they win the gifts? So well, and does one person win all the gifts, or do like twelve separate people, like Price is Right style, win twelve different mm-hmm. gifts? I like having it still. Like if we're sticking with the theme, the Kiri just decides. <laughs> <laughs> There's a contestant, but he's like that person <laughs> over there. Body number body three, four, four and seven. This is called communism. <laughs> one person succeeds oh from everyone else's work, <laughs> and then states take your prize. <laughs> <laughs> he just takes them all for himself. <laughs> no, I think. If we want to stick with the original theme of the 12 Days of Christmas, it should probably be from Yuri to the contestant. Okay. And then if we also want to stick with the 12 Days of Christmas, the original 12 Days, at least the published version, was a call and response game, like a memory game. Yeah. True. Oh, like so it would be kind of like a memory, memory concentration game. game. Yeah, I like that. Whatever that would look Or like, like a trivia game, maybe? It maybe. I, I haven't seen very many game shows use a call and response, get it right game. That'd be you know really I mean? interesting. Yeah. What, and I've then, like, few, every, like, every round, every really, category... Few, like, really, really bad ones done on, like, oh. the Game Show Network. Yeah. So, but I mean... So every episode is Christmas-themed, but within that, there are sub-themes, right? So you could have, like, reindeer be the specific theme of one episode. And, like, all the categories are, like, the like, call and response is always about that subcategory oh. of Christmas, right? So then every time that you go to the next category, something, an extra gag is added in to make it more difficult. So, so that could like, be like a, a, a like a nonverbal thing that you have to do. Like you have to like stand on one foot, or that's the yeah. lame. Oh. But like something additional that you have to be working on or doing. I see. And every time, and you have to keep adding to it. Like Silent Library, where yeah. it's like you have to do the thing, but while a challenge is happening. Exactly. Or like Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, where you just kind of keep moving up the ladder, where the challenges get. Hard. Exactly. Okay. Where you like you lock in the gift beneath you. Okay. Ah. Uh, you have to be wrapping yeah. presents the entire time. Ooh. And you're that's one of the challenges. Judged, yeah, that's one of them. <clears throat> or like every every like so often you have to have wrapped have wrapped a present, otherwise you're like out for the round or something. Or like you're wrapped in, in paper and you have to get out in like a certain <laughs> yeah, amount of time. Like you have to rip present like Yuri rips suit. <laughs> <laughs> that's the suit that he ripped. Okay, that's like, a, like that's this. like a gag. They, like they make a joke out of it. What do you think, Logan? About, think about any of this? I think it sounds good. Cool. I would watch this. Maybe there's like a too. <laughs> if there's like a sassy commentator too. It's like it's almost like Yuri rips his suit every day, and then the audience laughs. Shut up, this embodied voice. <laughs> Shut up, God. <laughs> Shut up, voice from above. Hey, we got the God theme in there then too. <laughs> Steve Harvey is the voice of God. Yes. <laughs> we want Steve Harvey to be in here really bad. <laughs> I feel like you'd do it too. Steve Harvey has become oh, the duh. new John Boyega. <laughs> no, just for this episode. Just for, yeah, yeah. So, so like different. We have what the game is kind of. Yeah, okay. yeah it's we have a call like and response game that you have to keep <clears throat> memorizing so, things and re- like repeating them back or adding to them mm-hmm. so while you, doing challenges. Can you like give an example? 
I'm not, uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm kind of, kind of wrapping my head around it, but like, can you uh, give like an example of what they would have to memorize? Right? Like, to give an example. Round, like, what he's saying about like sub, sub genres. So let's say like the pilot episode is reindeer themed. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we start off with a story. We have like the first line of the story is like Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer had a very shiny nose. Mm -hmm. Something simple like that. And they like, they're being told this while doing a challenge. Oh, I see. And then when the challenge is over, they have to like say what the first that or something. was. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like, yeah, like, or like, like, what, like, what color was this character's pants that was like mentioned like in passing in the story or something like that. Like okay. something yeah. semi-difficult that you have to be paying What was shiny on. about Rudolph? Yeah. I mean, besides that'd be like a really easy one. Yeah, oh yeah I mean, that's it's a commentator. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Like that, besides that's the first talent, I can't do Steve Harvey. Yeah, and then it I'll would go up, up more difficult from there. It'd take yeah. a good writing staff, but, you know, yeah. whatever. That's where you good. have to work your way through, like, a, a laser wall, or where you're <laughs> not a laser. Yeah. The, 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 the game where it's, like, the foam wall, and you had to, like, the hit the, the shape. Hold the wall, yeah. While they're doing an American Ninja Warrior course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That'd be cool, yeah. Okay. Or, like... Yeah. So what do you think the first gift should be? The first one? The first I mean, one. the very, like, the basic. Like, anyone could win this. $5 coupon to some coffee to McDonald's. Is that a luxury? No, 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 like, the first gift. Like, that everyone wins, right? Participation prize. Yeah, like, the like the first one, right? That's not worth much, but it's, like, right. the first prize. But, like, it's, like, the $100 prize in, in Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Right? Is that how much doing? would it be? Are we talking money, or are we talking gifts? Whichever. I don't know. I mean... What would you give someone? What? What? I mean, like, if we're thinking about gifts, right? And these being like the twelve days of Christmas gifts, right? Gift card would be a good one then. Like a gift card. card. Yeah. Yeah. A Visa gift card. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or just some like really, really obscure. Joe's Crab Shack. <laughs> it's always Joe's Crab Shack. <laughs> it's never anything. The first one's always I'm dog gift card to Joe's Crab Shack. <laughs> it's Amazon Russia. <laughs> You can buy anything, but only from Russian servers. A CSGO gift card. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no, it's, it's just Yuri's code to get a free 10 cents on a CSGO. <laughs> it's it's uh, Yuri's uh, audible code. This ticket to the next show. <laughs> it's, it's, free. it's the code for uh, Yuri's audible. <laughs> yeah, so he's like sponsored by audible. <laughs> yeah. Gotta get the advertising revenue in. Okay, so day one is uh, Yuri's Audible. <laughs> yep. And I'm gonna write these down so okay. we know what the pilot will be. Okay. What's day? <laughs> what's Audible. what's get no, just good. above that? Okay. Better than Yuri getting his own advertising revenue. Um. I'd say that could be like a gift card, like yeah. fifty dollars. So now it's now it's yeah. So it's something that's actually worth something. Probably. Let's do either a hundred or two hundred. Okay. Got I'd say, got I'd say probably like a hundred. Okay, hundred dollar gift card to just visa like a visa. It's like it's for you paid. Go on the next one, yeah. Okay. Yeah, cool. I kind of want you to pick a place though. I, I do too, honestly. Joe's Crab Shack. Where would you want a hundred dollars to, Logan? Amazon would be good. Steam would be good. Joe's Crab Shack. A <laughs> hundred dollar gift card to like some fast food, McDonald's or something. Costco would KFC. be good. Oh, uh, Costco's a good one. Costco would be great. Steam. Only for those that have a Costco membership. Yeah. Uh, some beauty place. Sephora. Sponsored by yeah. Costco. <laughs> <laughs> Think about how do you like cards Costco because they're sponsored by Costco because those people that win that need a Costco membership. <laughs> <laughs> Just trying to get the advertising revenue in. It's all part of Yuri's plan. Uh, Best Buy. Oh, Best Buy. Uh, Back and Geek. Beyond. Think Geek. Uh, Victoria's Secret. Huh? Or like Hollister. Yeah. Abercrombie and Fitch. Williams Sonoma. Oh yeah. Pottery Barn. I would love that, honestly. <laughs> like a, a, a gas station. 7 Eleven. Yeah. Yeah. 7 Eleven. Yeah. There we go. Perfect. Hundred dollars to 7 Eleven. <laughs> Boom. Do we even have any 7 Eleven around here? Oh yeah. Here. We do? Yeah, we do. do we really? I don't think I so. I think we do. I we don't have that many. Over, over by my what about three hair towels. Three? Three. So it's up from hundred dollars to 7 Eleven. <laughs> So in the and range we, of five hundred, we've been doing. Remember, it's luxury and right and uh, so service. Service. So we haven't so done service yet. In a okay. five hundred to seven hundred dollars range ish. What service would massage. you want to get? 
Maybe that's like a massage be, is nice. Like a spa but that would be treatment. that would cost honestly a lot less than that. Maybe like a full no, spa. Not day. like a lava rock hot. Rock there we go. Massage. There we go. Yeah, that's like where it's at. Luxury Ooh. spa thing. Yeah. Guess there it guess is. Guess who's giving you the spa treatment? It's me. <laughs> You're a true love. Oh, I was thinking Steve Harvey. <laughs> <laughs> Both. <laughs> <laughs> I keep the rocks by placing them on Steve Harvey. <laughs> You are lying down on Steve Harvey. <laughs> By proxy, you are lying on Steve Harvey. <laughs> he is okay. massaging front, I massage back. <laughs> I want to watch this show. That. Just for the cringe factor. Just for the cringe. <laughs> like, this would be something that you would see as a short on a Saturday Night Live. 100%. Oh, yes. 100%. Okay. okay. Uh, day four. Day four. Above uh, lava rock massage, we've done two. Would, we've done two luxuries. That would be like up to a thousand. I day three, a be. thousand to a thousand two hundred ish, somewhere yeah. in there. So we've done two luxuries, and we've done one service. We might need another service. I'd say probably like a vacation. A vacation, like a small, yeah. like a weekend vacation, like an all expenses paid weekend like vacation Hawaii. to Hawaii, or like some tropical destination, Siberia. <laughs> You have one free trip to Vladivostok. <laughs> St. Petersburg? Okay, that I'd, actually would I'd, be an awesome one. I'd love to go to St. Petersburg. I would love to go to St. Petersburg. Or That'd Moscow. Awesome. I mean, Moscow. Honestly, just, well, should it be... I'd love to go to Russia. Should it be... I mean, the original Totally the Christmas was probably French. Okay. Would we want it to be a French thing, or would we want it to be more like... Because Christmas is kind of like the North Pole and all that stuff, do we want it to be like Santa-themed? Alaska? I don't know what are I there can like see Russia from my house. Iceland. <laughs> I hate myself. Uh, uh, no, I, Alaska actually would be pretty cool, and that would be price wise, that'd be about right. Iceland would be more like Iceland's twice. very green. Okay. Well, yeah. they they have like they have an ice hotel, I think, mm-hmm. if I'm oh, correct. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah, where they have uh, the price wine glasses, cost more. wine glasses made out of ice. Whoa! And once you're done with them, you they have like a wall you can smash it on. Well, Sounds really fun. Yeah, hey, I'm excited. Uh, can you go to Audible and sign up for a free trial? We'd love to go there. So, is it I can sign up for 150,000 free trials. <laughs> I thought Greenland was the icy one. Well, they still have ice in Iceland. It's just... Less. Yeah. They have glaciers. I mean, it's it's pretty north up there. I mean, it's, I think it's more north than... I've heard that t-shirt? before. It's pretty north up there. <laughs> pretty north up there. I want that on a t-shirt. Um, pretty north up there. Day five. We're almost halfway through. So wait, where was that? Two? So that was four. It was a trip to Iceland. That would probably cost more than that, though. That'd be more like two thousand dollars. So, so should we should make that five. Yeah, I think that's fine. Then we just need to upscale. But, but should five more. be like golden ring themed? Oh, because whatever you say, you're like gold. Five golden. Ring. It's like the pause. Yeah. This is where yeah. Yuri starts to upscale things. Like, <laughs> like boy, you better like keep winning. <laughs> this is where you can lock in everything under it. Ah, yeah. yes, 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 yes. This but is, it's significantly harder. This is this is the minor prize level in the stacker game. <laughs> then you go I up love to the major level in stacker. I'm gonna be so mad though. <laughs> Play it so much. Woohoo! When, woohoo! Woohoo! Oh no! <laughs> Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> we played that so much in our bowling league. So much. We won the minor prize a lot of the time. Yeah, we did. Anyway. So this is where it yes. ramps. Yes. So. Five gold. So like. It's just five gold and yeah. something. Yeah. Just whatever. I'd say you could do jewelry of something. Yeah. But very. For the, so for the pilot episode, five golden this is partridges. Five. <laughs> five golden partridges. They're hollow. So they're still inexpensive. <laughs> Compared to, you know, solid partridges of gold. What if it's like straight up gold bars? Five golden bars? That'd be a, yeah. a crazy That'd be a lot of money. That'd yeah. be so much. Or like, you know, tiny bars. Not like full okay. like. I was thinking like. Five no, gold Kit Kat bars? A foot. A foot. Hashtag <laughs> 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 um, not spawn. You could do. But like. It could be. <laughs> <laughs> a Rolex? Okay. Yeah. Watches? Yeah. Yeah. Golden Rolex. One shiny Rolex. Rolex. Not sponsored. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now we need to upscale. Let's. Now, so yeah. we did like times two. Now we need to. Now we need to square it. Just know we're on six. We're on three luxuries, two services. Okay. I mean, one of them is going to be odd. And the twelve. Unless the bird counts. The bird. Luxury. <laughs> 
Well, the well, 12th one is, is going to be the, the yeah, bird. Yeah. The bird, okay. The peep. Or the, the marshmallow peep. peep. Or it's literally just an ostrich. Or a ride like, on an ostrich. That would actually be really fun. They do it. Also they have ostrich dangerous. rides. I was going to say, like, you've already so, seen videos of Vladimir Putin riding a horse, so <laughs> why not have Yuri, with Yuri a true love ride an os- ostrich? Yeah. I almost said Oscar. Ride an Oscar. Ride an Oscar. <laughs> and his shirt Played just rips camera. off. <laughs> In the way. Straight up just... <laughs> Okay. Um, so now, what's going to be a Rolex? The squared ro- a Rolex squared. What what's if we that? make the last one just a, a large sum of money? Just cash, a leather cash, yeah. money, cash, cash money, money, cash money. I mean, that's what people really want, right? Yeah. So that's what they want to try to get to. Mm-hmm. A million dollars. Is the last one before? I mean, that makes sense. The bird. Do you have? But everybody other gets. What the is uh, America's current national debt? Like. 18 trillion <laughs> Okay 18 trillion <laughs> I think it's actually Up to 20 trillion now I mean this is I'll, our I'll canon ch- I'll check the want. debt clock <laughs> That's a thing You know that's a thing I know that what makes it really sad <laughs> <laughs> Whatever the debt clock Is currently at Is prize number 11 That's uh, right Debt clock You win America's debt <laughs> Is that just for The first episode Or is that always the prize And currently. it's always Impossible to get <laughs> <laughs> At the at the time of this recording, it is currently twenty point six trillion. All right, twenty point six trillion is prize number eleven. Very impossible to get. Like truly impossible. Yeah. Like literally. so, really, if you win twenty point six trillion dollars, prize twelve is Yuri freaking booking it out of there on Oscars because he can't pay you twenty point six trillion dollars. Yep. All right. So now. <laughs> Or, or Should we cycle or, down from twenty point six trillion? Yeah. So eleven. What's yeah. prize eleven? Eleven trillion. Six trillion. <laughs> I think we need a pretty big drop. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like now, let's go down to a million or less. Maybe like a a dream home in. There we go. Uh, that could be like twelve million. What's a dream million. country? Oh, boy. Uh, Cancun. Cancun. Like, maybe like Florida. <laughs> uh, Greenland. That'd actually be pretty cool. The yeah. Seychelles. German Hawaii. Underwater fishing lodge. Polo. In Greenland. An igloo. An igloo. <laughs> so just, you, you get a dream home. <gasps> a personal dirigible. No. <laughs> you don't want your own blimp? hot air balloon? No. You don't oh. want your own blimp? I don't. You don't want your own blimp. Your own you good captain, your, your own blimp. I really don't. I want one. Well, okay. Okay. No one else is on my side. I, 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 I mean, sure, it'd be cool, but, like, I wouldn't ask for it, <laughs> specifically. <laughs> Yuri doesn't care. Okay. Yuri There's wants to live. <laughs> I'm just going to write it in. Okay. All right. There's our Christmas gift to you, Riley. You can have personal derangeable be part of this. Thank you. You're welcome. I, I'm going to get you, like, an RC blip. <laughs> have you seen those? I love They're them. They're so cool. Also the sharks. Okay. Oh my gosh, yeah. So now, what's way less than that now? We need to drop down again pretty far. But between uh, so it, now, a know, house. Just like a, like a house. Maybe like a houseboat? Houseboat. Or like, houseboat? A, like a sailboat? Made out of oh, a yeah. decommissioned Russian submarine. Russian sub? Yep. A sailboat made out of a decommissioned Russian no, sub. No, no, a houseboat <laughs> made out of a decommissioned... A houseboat made out of decommissioned nuclear Russian sub. Obviously. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I like where this is going. Elements of danger. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so now we have three left between Rolex and We still need to scale now. With uh, Out of each porthole, there's like one screw undone. Oh, my gosh. Oh, God. <laughs> that makes me anxious. So that it's slightly dripping. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> that you have to, like, every day you have to wipe up with really paper towels. It really scales it down. We're good. <laughs> um, anyway. I'd like one of them to be, like... I mean, so here's the thing. We've got three left between Rolex and Houseboat. I got my service. personal gift of personal dirigible. We need to have more service. You guys should pick yeah. your personal gifts. Yuri becomes your butler for a year. Yuri? Ooh, that's a long time. Yeah, that is a long time. That would but be that, a lot of money. Like, that'd be at like, uh, like $200,000. Maybe not dollars. Yuri. You should have... Because Yuri still Steve Harvey. the show. Yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. Some celebrity volunteer. Okay. Who would that be for the first episode? Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> yes. Oh, uh, my God. Also an element of danger. Running through the woods. Shia LaBeouf. Shia LaBeouf. Butler. Shia LaBeouf. Logan. I just wanted to say. Shia LaBeouf. What? Beneath 
the Shia LaBeouf and we need a service. Um, I have one more general suggestion. Good haircut. What? <laughs> a nice a haircut. really solid haircut. <laughs> Costs $2,000. Complete body waxing. Oh. <laughs> what if we did, like, because, uh, it, you know, you see that in a lot of, like, game shows or prize things. It's like a year-long supply of something. Oh, yeah. What if we did that? A little something, lipstick. Something ridiculous. Is that a service, though? Um, no, but we just got the service with the butler, so I'm okay. I mean, Logan, we have we have something right above a Rolex or right beneath Shia LaBeouf Butler. <laughs> what about like a personal concert by one of your favorite musicians? I like that a lot. That's cool. Beneath Which, Shia LaBeouf? Yeah. Yeah. Which I've always kind of wondered, wouldn't that be really awkward? Like a concert of one? No, if because like, if Sam Smith sang to me one-on-one... It'd be over. But, like, where do you look? What would be over like, exactly? Like, do you meet his eyes? You're about to get married, Riley. You need to be careful with your words. My sexual orientation. <laughs> 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 Sorry, what were well, you saying? Sam, <laughs> Sam Smith, now you know. <laughs> what were you saying, Logan? No, like, where do you look? Like, while he's performing for you. Like, do you meet his <laughs> eyes? Dead eye contact. I think the better question is where do you not look? That is actually the better question. <laughs> <laughs> Just eating popcorn. Eating. Every every five seconds. Eating on the dot. like really crunchy like almonds. <laughs> <laughs> really crunchy like like <laughs> potato chips like kettle cooked potato chips. Yeah, like really crunchy. Triscuits. <laughs> Triscuits. Really hard. All we have left is right above a Rolex. Your supply of? Uh, What's something ridiculous that we can give you your supply of? Sheets. Dashboard wipes. <laughs> so just one, two, what is that, like one or two pairs of sheets? <laughs> 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 I like Logan's <laughs> sheets, pillowcases. <laughs> Your supply of pillowcases is literally two blankets. <laughs> Your supply of blankets. <laughs> it's one blanket. Welcome mats. <laughs> Life lifetime supply of welcome mats. You get four. <laughs> lifetime supply of. Oh, what do I only ever use? Like one of ever. Uh, I don't think of anything. Supply. Of Steve Harvey. No, what? <laughs> you only need one. <laughs> Accurate. Um, I like sheets or... Well, it's above a Rolex, though. Yeah. And right beneath personal concert. They're handmade, silkworm woven sheets that are, like, crazy cool. It's, like, like in the thousands of yeah. thread count. Yeah. Lifetime supply of priceless... No, no, just years. With, with sheets, your supply. A, a full year supply of handmade silk spun. I don't know what other word. I don't know. And then the it's similar to the, like that coffee bean that gets eaten by that lemur and then pooped out. Like really expensive <laughs> coffee. Like the maggots make the silk and the silk gets fed to the lemur and the lemur poops it out and then like they spin it and wash it. Exactly. Like, there, there are living maggots in the sheets when you get them, so yes. that if it rips, they yeah. will. They will. Uh, that's exactly. So back really together. Disgusting. It's like in beer when they put live yeast in it when they bottle it. It's to finish uh -huh. the fermentation process. And then Yuri breaks the sheets against his abs <laughs> and that like <laughs> seals. Like one of the jokes is that uh, he, he tries to rip the sheets, but he accidentally rips his suit. <laughs> <laughs> and that's when it goes to an ad break. <laughs> Well, and then the commentator says, oh, sheet. <laughs> <laughs> if somebody makes this show, at least the pilot episode, you should hire us as writers, because at least Logan's got it now. Yeah, He's Logan ready. does. Logan could be the commentator. Yeah, this could be a go. Japanese game show. I completely agree. Or any game show. They have to, they have to listen to a story while going up a slippery set of stairs. Yeah, and the slippery set of stairs is slippery because it's been coated in, like, fudge topping. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I feel like it would be or more sticky. Or balsamic vinegar. vinegar. No, nah, Christmas themed. Oil. Christmas themed? Yeah. It's reindeer poop. <laughs> like reindeer poop or like actual reindeer poop? Actual reindeer poop. Eggnog. Ooh, that's a good one. I mean, it changes every episode. Gotta have a lot of different Christmas things. True. Melted yeah. candy canes. And then at the bottom is... Ooh, just uh, candy canes. <laughs> just no, like just thousands broke, of candy canes. Broken shards of candy canes. Ooh, Ooh don't fall. Barefoot. You have to walk on them. <laughs> yeah, barefoot. It's like instead of Legos. I want to watch the show. Kaye. So, Legos. to review... Oh, uh, then you have a you have a die hard challenge. Yeah, you have to make through like a die hard yeah. while a, shooting people. That's to win the two hundred six trillion dollars. 
Yep. Um, day one is uh, Yuri's Audible account. <laughs> day two is a hundred dollars yep. Seven Eleven gift card. Access to a specific code. Yes. Day three is uh, Lava Rock Massage. Uh, warmed up by Steve Harvey. Nice. Given by Yuri. Four is a trip to Iceland. Five is a Rolex. Six is a full year supply of silk woven lemur poop sheets. Yep. Seven is a personal concert by your favorite artist of your choice, within reason. Eight is a Shia LaBeouf uh, butler. Nine Shia is. Shia LaBeouf. Sh- <laughs> Shia yes. LaBeouf. Yes! Looks like that's a Shia LaBeouf. Shut up, man in sky. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, boys. You think you are funny, you are not funny. Took medicine to get rid of you. Why are you still here? <laughs> um, Went to therapy, thought it was gone. <laughs> Nine. Is, I want to talk more like Gary. Nine is a houseboat made of a decommissioned nuclear Russian sub. That would actually be really cool. Ten is a personal dirigible, so sea and sky. And then 11 is $206 trillion, or at the current no, no, point? No, 20.6 trillion. Oh, 20, not, not 206. 20.6 trillion. That and is a big difference. That's more than all the money in the world. <laughs> <laughs> um, at, the, at the time of recording, America's That's probably National more Day. than all the stars in the universe. Yeah. <laughs> probably. And then Actually, no, 12 no, no. is Yuri riding away on an ostrich. And flipping you the well, bird. some bird theme. But again, some that's bird. just the first episode. Riding Who away knows on what it would be for the second episode? On a kiwi. Riding away on a chocobo. <laughs> he flies away on, on a, a giant on chicken. A on a sled drawn by 200 chickens. This <laughs> 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 is just... Uh, that's that's, that's, just that's the Christmas away. episode right there. Move. Slay, stupid <laughs> bird. <laughs> well... I think, I think we've done it. I think we've done it. <laughs> yep. We made a game show. Yuri True Love. Yep. Yuri True. Welcome to Yuri True Love Day of Christmas 12. <laughs> oh my god. Hosted by me, Yuri True Love. <laughs> and me, Shut the Voice. <laughs> and me, Steve Harvey type character. Oh my god, we'll rip short if we don't stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> well. You're gonna rip your suit anyway. It's a running gag. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we have to go to an ad break. Just like he broke his suit. And then um, for the podcast, when you say that, can you go to an ad break? What ad break? We had our ad, ad break at the beginning. Thanks, so, Audible. <laughs> <laughs> Just cycle back to the original ad break at the very beginning. Every ad, no, Every time that we mention... You're ripping his shirt. Even from the very beginning. Just no. Go no. <laughs> no, please. No. Um, if we had Welch, I would say, like, go to our merch site. Yes. But we're we're speaking of which, uh, we love ideas and any contact from you about merch or how our ideas are doing or how we can improve, what or characters we'd like to add. If you would buy our merch and yeah. what kind of merch you would like to buy for next Christmas. Exactly. Or a New Year's gift. I don't know. Whatever. Feedback and community is what we want. Here. Yes. Yeah. Amen. So, um, thank you guys so much. We really appreciate you. And Merry Christmas. Happy Chrysler. Happy Crisis. Merry Chris. Merry Happy 12 Days of Gift Giving by Yuri. True love. Happy Kaye, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, explicit. Explicit. Definitely explicit now. <laughs> Dang, that was the first one, wasn't it? I think... I, I, I think said, I said oh shit earlier, but... I think... I think that's like definitely the most. I could bleep Wait, it out. Is I not the worst swear. Yeah, this and time? it's usually you. <laughs> Dang it! Dang it! I messed up. It's Christmas. I'm trying to be good for Santa. Logan was looking at me directly in the eyes, and I think it's because I forgot to doing. roll for the next. Yeah, you did. Character. No, yeah. actually, I was saying we actually got our first uh, comment on the website. Oh, and I yes. wanted to acknowledge that. Yes. Yes. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah. Well, I forgot about it, too. Yeah. So. But the Yuri did not. So we got a comment. <laughs> Yuri knows everything. <laughs> no, we got a comment from Brennan W. And uh, he suggested that uh, he's also commented on a lot of YouTube videos. So, so uh, congrats to you, fan. We like you. <laughs> congrats. You have won our favor. <laughs> uh, he suggested that we should do... Uh, I forget. I don't remember. I'll look this up. Edit this out, Mr. Snip Snip. Wait, no, just <laughs> Mr. Snip Snip. <laughs> Mr. Snip. That's my um, name. It's I worth noting that. that 
who was it? It was Brennan W. Mm-hmm. Um, if you contact us through our email on our pop box site, yes. uh, we do want to shout you guys out. So yes. like, if you have a preferred way of shouting you out. Uh, we'll we shout do, you out on Twitter. Yeah. Yep. So if you do Twitter, it'll be your Twitter handle. If it's Instagram, your Instagram name. Um, if it's through our website and our email, it'll be through maybe your email or if you include your name. Um, we're not going to give any last names, just like first name and initial. Because um, we aren't stupid. Right. We just want like, you know. People we are to know that but we appreciate you and we really like getting your feedback. So we like here's your to the first of many. Okay, so he suggested two things that we could add to the pit. One is Elmo from Sesame Street, yeah. which I believe we were considering doing some somebody from Sesame Street, but I don't think but we had decided when we to. talked about it. An element of oh, yeah. our, our modified it. That's true. Um, we we started talking about a Sesame yeah, Street. We character. delved into that realm, but we should definitely. We go need to it. actually yeah. like yeah. deal with Sesame Street. Uh, the it second dealt with. The second, which I like a lot, is uh, Delia Ketchum and Professor Oak. Right. Delia Ketchum is that the mom? That's Ash's mom, who is voiced by the same person as Ash. I don't Fun know fact. literally anything about Pokemon. I do. So. <laughs> I, 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 I'm thinking that could be our Valentine's Day episode. <laughs> he says the reason for having the two of them together is to talk about uh, if you think that they're truly together and what you think their relationship is like. That'd be a good I Valentine's like Day. So maybe, maybe we should do that. We'll, 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 we'll add there, it to the pit. There are a lot of fun <laughs> theories with that that pairing specifically that I think you would enjoy. Well, let's save that. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Thanks, my man. Thanks, Brennan Again. W. Again, you can contact us on Twitter. We're Pop Apoc Podcast on Instagram, which I think we're Same also thing. Pop Apoc Podcast. Um, you go to our website, which is Pop Apoc. That's again, that's p o p a p o c dot com, and we've got a contact form that you can contact us with, or just send us an email at popularpocfetgmail dot com. Yeah. Um, okay. Way. And yeah, any literally anything. If you send us the word poop in an email, I will be ecstatic. I'll shout it out. So yes, in Yuri's voice. Yep. Poop. 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 <laughs> or anything. I take dump. Any word. <laughs> Literally any word or phrase or anything. So. Thanks, guys. We love you so much. And Merry thanks, Christmas. Thanks again, Audible. Merry Christmas. All right. Well, have a good one, guys. Wait. <laughs> hold on. Before we end, we have to roll for the next character. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. the first character I, of the new I year. I got really excited. And the first character of my marriage. And it oh, comes out on January 1st, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, so. Yeah. I will your stay on my honeymoon. I will be at home alone. <laughs> <laughs> I, Probably. Uh, I don't I know get that. the day off of work, so I don't know. We'll okay. See. Oh, so uh, do you want to roll or do you want me to roll? I can roll. Okay, you're going to roll. And then do you need me to pull up the character sheet? No, nah, I got it. Okay. Okay, cool. Um, yeah. Mm, yeah. Want to talk more like Yuri? Yuri, <laughs> <laughs> John. Always want to talk like Yuri. <laughs> Do you need me to ask you questions? Duh. Okay, what's your favorite Yuri color? Yuri, don't respond. What? What's your favorite color? Blood. <laughs> what's your favorite element? Blood. <laughs> what's your favorite house? Blood is BL on periodic table. <laughs> okay, so I got it. So I got okay. character. <laughs> it is Thomas the Tank Engine. Ooh. Bow, 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 bow. Wait, is that public to me? It's okay. I don't um, know. In prep for the episode, please look up Biggie Smalls <laughs> mixed with Thomas Tank Engine. Do not play it in a room though. With no, with we're in it's, yeah. it's got some language like us. Well, I mean, if you're listening so, to us, well, I mean, yeah, I mean, that's that's fair. yeah, listen to it in the same environment which you listen to us. Yes. Yeah. Hopefully, which might Maybe. just be headphones. Hopefully, but you never know. Thomas Tank Engine. Thomas yep. Tank Engine. Doot, 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 you're in doot. like train. Choo choo, motherfucker. There it is. <laughs> bye, everybody. Bye. Or actually, bye. Merry Christmas. Merry Crisis. Merry Crisis. I keep the rocks by placing them on Steve Harvey. <laughs>